On my last video on this channel, I made a cutter for cutting holes in glass. And even though that wasn't a complete success, I tried it on wood and that worked a lot better. So that got me thinking if I could make the cutter itself better, because it needs to be a lot stronger for cutting into wood. The biggest problem is that the shaft itself is not big enough to support a bigger rod that holds the cutter. So what I have here is a piece of one inch round bar that I put in the chuck on my wood lathe, and I'm gonna attempt to turn that down to a smaller size. So anyway, my first thought was to use a chisel, <laughs> just like you would use on uh, wood if you were turning wood. And even though I knew it wasn't gonna be efficient, I thought there was nothing to lose by trying it. And as you can see, it does cut in somewhat, but the biggest problem is vibrations and chatter. Now a real you know, metal lathe would have a tool post that's very solid and it sits down on ways that are very solid and no part of my lathe is anything like that. So I was getting a lot of chatter and it wasn't cutting that well. And then the chisel was getting too dull too quickly to really be a viable option. So then I was thinking if I had something harder than a chisel and I immediately thought of using a carbide tooth from a saw blade, but then it occurred to me I have a piece of planer blade and the steel on that is a lot harder than the chisel. So I thought I would give that a try. And as you can see, I've got it solidly clamped in the vice grips for safety. And anyway, that didn't really work that well. I couldn't quite get the cutting geometry right. And I was actually a little bit too afraid to use it. So then I tried a bunch of different things that more or less didn't work. And then I got the hacksaw and I tried that. I figured the blade of the hacksaw could cut into the end of the bar without any problem. It's just how long would it take and how clean would the cut be? So I was actually very surprised with how well this worked and how quickly it cut. So since the blade I was using was fairly old and fairly worn out, I figured it was a good idea to put a new one on there and see how well that would cut. And that did a lot better. What I found was to add a little bit of oil to the saw blade on the side there. What I didn't want was to have oil all over the place while I'm doing this. I don't want to splash all over my walls or anything like that. But a little bit on the saw blade like that really helped. So as you can see, it's cutting in very efficiently. The whole process of cutting this in only took about a half an hour, which I think is pretty reasonable for what I've done here. I mean, this is quite a cut. And then to clean up the cut, I used the coarse file first, and then I switched to a fine file to really smooth it out. This thing doesn't have to be super smooth because it's just gonna be chucked in the drill press, but it does have to be fairly even. So when I had all that done, what I did was I took it out of the lathe and I put it into my drill press to see how it was turning. And I saw that it was a little bit off and I kind of expected that because as you can see, the chuck that I was using on the lathe is not for metal, it's for wood. So what I did was I took the chuck off of the drill press and I put it in the lathe. And then I used the hacksaw on the surface this time to clean it down. And as you can see, that also worked really well. And then after I had it close, I stopped because I don't think this thing needs to be NASA type precision here. It just needs to be fairly well balanced. And once again, I used the coarse file and then the fine file on there to smooth it out. So anyway, that's it. The uh, cutter itself is not done yet, but then that's not what this video is about. This video is about using the tools that you have at your disposal to get the job done. my bed is cluttered with junk scraps of paper